Hey guys, it's Mike at Narcoleptic Customs. Today we're working on one of the last episodes we'll have for Project Elsie. Uh, we're going to be bleeding the brakes. Uh, obviously out here by myself today because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day and everybody else is working except uh, my company. Um, so we are off today, which is awesome. So I'm going to jump underneath here and start. This is the first time I've ever used one of these. so. Uh, I'm sure I'll be calling Stephen a whole bunch to uh, to find out. All what right, some will so. be working under the thing. I'm going to take a few minutes and clean it out. That way, uh, I'm not working in the dirt. So I'm down here getting all the you know uh, bleeder parts lubed up. You know some PB blaster. That way we can bleed the brakes and I'll get them broke loose easier. Um, and then I see this. There's no damn caliper on that side. So no point in bleeding the brakes today, I guess. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll dig back through all of this shit back here. Try and find a brake caliper. So I'll flip it to time lapse and start on that. So great news, O'Reilly's in Centerton actually will have the new caliper and hardware in at one o'clock. So they're gonna run it down then. That's about three and a half, four hours from now. So I'm actually gonna pull the old truck in and work on wiring for it for just a little bit and uh, wait till we get the caliper. So I guess we're at a standstill on Elsie. I will link the Stanley video up in the corner here and uh, that way you can watch it or just stay here for two more seconds and uh, and watch the rest of the so video. This is the exhaust from the Corvette that Lee Paul donated um, the manifolds and exhaust for. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these off here so I can stack them and put them inside the cab. Uh, that way when the owner decides what exhaust he wants to do he can maybe use you know portions of this part here. Uh, I know he'll definitely want to use the collectors uh, and then I don't know what he'll want to do with the, the cats but you know I don't know whatever. All right, guys, valuable core. <laughs> so thanks to the boys down at O'Reilly's for bringing this down and delivering it. The brake pads won't be in till like 3.45, so. Go ahead and get this in here, hang on. Hey, nice. Four piston caliper. This has hardware, but I don't see any hardware. That's not good because I don't have bolts or anything. Awesome. Well, it's a good thing we have this big bin of bolts here. Big bin of bolts. Um, found one that fit it because it does not come with hardware, like it said. So I'm going to have to find another bolt like this. So I'm going to dig through this whole mess because they have to be this long to get through the bracket and the uh, and not get onto the rotor. <laughs> so actually the first bolt I pick up works. <laughs> so tested it. It makes the length right. So we're going to start putting it on. So there's kind of a saving grace here um, what's having to do this is you can tell here there's been a leak uh, it's from our um, fabricated power steering hose here uh, it is leaking out of the top ring so I don't know I have to take it back down to Razorback hydraulics and have him remake it uh, maybe this is a different fitting so I'll need to find out what size fitting that is or maybe even order one so he can put the correct one on all right get this crap so toyotas have a line that runs from here because you know this rubber hose that runs here yeah freaking block okay runs here then it runs into like this little 90 okay and then it runs there's this i'm sure this hose is about this long it runs from here to the caliper so i can't even put it on 
<laughs> I hate this truck. So obviously this piece here um, is not readily available, you know, because why would it be? So we've ordered a seven and a half inch that should probably replace this entire hose here. Okay, so it'll go from here to the cat directly to the caliper. Um, but of course it's not going to be until tomorrow because it's at the Springfield warehouse. So I guess I'll work on getting this um, hydraulic hose pulled and I can knock both of those out in the morning. Man, the guys at Razorback Hydraulics were super nice. Uh, I talked to Doug today. He said to get it off and bring it back down. They'd take a look at it real fast and, uh, and we get something figured out. So I'm going to pull that and uh, run it down there. All right, guys. So we are back in the shop finally. Um, went down and got the hydraulic hose redone. Now we're fixing to put the brakes or the front brake rotor on the driver's side. So we're going to slide these pins come with it, these hardware pins come with it. I'm going to put this end in. Got this little M clip thing. It goes in this hole and this hole. Sorry. These holes here. Okay. And we squeeze it together to keep the pads apart. I really don't know what this is good for other than being a pain in that bootay. And that slides through like that. And this weird little clip here goes inside these. So you gotta make sure they're turned the right way. together and then now let's put it on the rotor like I said our guys down at O'Reilly's got us hooked up and they got the uh, brake line coming tomorrow flip you guys over to time lapse while we do this. All right, so we're going to pull all the stuff back out of this because I can't get this thing to go. We're going to see if uh, these rotors will even let us start. Maybe it's the pads that are preventing it from going deep enough. I don't know, but it's really about to irritate me. So. Man, those guys at Razorback Hydraulics do a great job. He knocked this out in about three minutes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break clean all this so we get it nice and cleaned up and uh, until we can figure out what we're going to do about the <laughs> about the rotor that don't work or the caliper that doesn't work. Alright guys, that's it for today. I'm going to edit this video and we'll call it um, Bleeding Brakes Part 1 because uh, I didn't get to today. So we've ordered another caliper to see if maybe this is somehow a different frame for an FJ80. I really don't know at this point. I'm super frustrated. I have blown a day off working on this shit and um, it's really frustrating. So I'm gonna wait to order the air conditioning lines until we have figured out what we're gonna have to do with this thing. Um, so that's pretty much it. The caliper won't bolt up. The, uh, the guys at Razorback Hydraulics, I appreciate them knocking that out so quick. Um, I hate that I wasted an hour and a half, or well, probably an hour on that today as far as taking it off, taking it down there, coming back, you know, then fixing it, coming back, putting it on, all that kind of stuff. Um, I worked on the old truck for a minute today, <laughs> made it worse, so it's been a bad day, that's why you don't 
work in the shop on Mondays, I guess. So, anyways, subscribe to the channel to keep up with what's coming because at some point we're going to finish this stupid piece of crap.